Hi, I'm Adam Ragusia. This is Lauren. We just dropped the kids off at school, and because I cook on the internet, people seem to be under the impression that the Ragusias eat a made-from-scratch masterpiece three nights a week, seven days a week. There's not three nights in a week. No, in a day. Three meals in a day. <laughs> we really rely on prepared foods to make it through most of the week, which is why we are headed to Target. My favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> She's not kidding. <laughs> and thanks to Target for sponsoring this video. Fun fact, Lauren worked at her hometown Target. Then she went away to college, and whenever she felt homesick, she'd go to the Target near campus. So now any Target is basically her happy place. It is, truly. Ooh, they have dried cranberries. Love those. They're adorable. I know it. <laughs> And these are all part of Target's flagship grocery brand that's launching this fall. It's called Good and Gather, new and only at Target. Lots of fresh ingredients, but uh, key for us is the many prepared and semi-prepared goodies. The green beans are like ready to go. Oh, it comes with a dressing and everything in it. See, this is the stuff that really helps you on a weeknight. Also, Ooh. pasta, baby carrots for the hummus, frozen berries, smoothie fodder, broiler nachos. Why does drying out fruit make children more likely to eat it? Texture? Ooh, grapefruit sparkling water. I love grapefruit. Gross. <laughs> you don't like grapefruit? I don't like sparkling water. It never, like, what I want is soda. <laughs> okay, well, here in voiceover, I'm going to say that I like flavored sparkling water. It's grown-up soda. I'm getting these um, fruit and veggie pouches for Leo because they go in his lunchbox. Um, I like that they have hidden vegetables. Crinkle cut sweet potato chips. Sweet potato. That's a vegetable we can get in him. That's right. Because it tastes like sugar. We used to eat pears. Remember that? You might eat these. They're kid pears. They're kid pears. And there they are. They See? They have a smiling pear they on them. They have a smiling pear on them. Should we get some monster cheese? Yeah. All right, now check out this tricolor slaw. That is my secret to fractionally homemade meals all throughout the work week. I'll show you. I put bagged slaw into the easiest sweet pickling solution in the world. Grab a red onion, cut it in half, and I say don't waste your life trying to peel the skin. Just sacrifice the outermost edible layer. If you look closely, it often has leathery bits on it anyway. You could use shallots instead, but something oniony and red because it'll make the pickles purple, and purple food is awesome. A whole 12-ounce bottle of rice vinegar goes into a stainless steel or glass bowl. No aluminum, it would leach. Rice vinegar is great for people who think they don't like vinegar. It's really smooth and mild. Half a cup of sugar and a pinch of salt. And when you mix that up, you're going to think, this is never going to dissolve. This is why you're supposed to boil pickling solutions and then cool them down again. Rubbish, I say. It'll dissolve, just not right now. Onions go in, followed by our 8-ounce bag of slaw mix. And when you mix that up, you're going to think, these things aren't fully submerged. Don't pickles have to be fully submerged? Ha ha ha. These are related rubbishes because after you cover that up and throw it in the fridge for at least a day, check it out. Slaw is mostly cabbage. Cabbage and onion are full of water and the solution draws the water out, giving you enough liquid to fully dissolve and submerge everything. Those will just get better and better for a week. And let me show you two things that you can do with them over that time. One pickle gives you at least two dinners. I'll get those ready to eat fajita strips they had at Target and the shredded cheese. The box just says to open the meat slightly and then microwave it for a couple of minutes. Smells like something I spent a lot of time making. Great spice mixture on those. This is a plate. This is a wet paper towel. Put it on the plate, put some tortillas in there, cover them up, and microwave for 30 seconds max. This will get you that steamed tortilla texture that so many of us have come to love at mission-style burrito restaurants. Taco on the plate, hot chicken on the taco, cheese on the chicken so it melts a little bit, and then the cold pickled slaw. Maybe a few cilantro leaves, and I like to spoon over some of that jewel-like sweet pickle juice. Yum. That is a quality taco, friends. Even people who think they don't like pickled vegetables like those. And here's another dinner that you can make with them. Get a big sheet pan, and if you line it with aluminum foil, there will be literally no dishes to clean. Grease it up a little, get those beautiful blue corn chips and spread some around. Whenever food can be purple, it shall be in my house. Though maybe some yellow ones too for color contrast, if you're feeling fancy. Then I do a primer coat of shredded cheese, just a little. When it melts, it'll help the next layer of ingredients to adhere. This is that pre-shredded rotisserie chicken we got. No need to even warm it up for this. This is saving me so much time. But I am tearing up the bigger chunks as I put them down. Everything on nachos has to be bite-sized or they're just too hard to eat. 
Here are four frozen cubes of my Cuban-style black beans. Devotees know that I'm a fan of freezing leftover sauces and stews and such in ice cube trays for easy thawing. But you could totally just use some canned black beans for this. That'd be fine. Some of this sweet onion salsa, or any salsa that you like, just little dabs here and there. Nobody likes soggy nachos. A little bit goes a long way. And then the top coat of cheese. Lots of cheese this time. Whole thing goes under a hot broiler for like five minutes max. When you broil stuff, watch it the entire time because it'll burn in a flash like that. This is much better. Cheese is just bubbling. Now you can scatter on some of your pickled slaw, and I'm pulling it out with a fork so that I can drain off the juice before it goes on the tray. Wet tacos are good, wet nachos are bad. A few cilantro leaves, and there you go. Don't get precious about it and make dirty plates for yourself to clean. Everybody just gather around the tray and go to town. I grew up making nachos in the microwave, and I didn't know how terrible that was until you taught me how to use the broiler. I feel like people are afraid of their broilers, but they shouldn't be. This is true, and that cool, bright slaw is an amazing contrast with the toasty broiled chips. Oh, and uh, let's uh, throw together a kid's plate. New Good and Gather stuff is going to be showing up at Target through 2020. These are taste-first products with quality ingredients. No artificial flavors or sweeteners, no synthetic colors, no high fructose corn syrup. This video is an ad for Target, and I appreciate their patronage. You can find this stuff at your local Target or shop online using my link in the description. That looks pretty good, and they'll actually eat it. Eventually, they'll try the pickles, one day at a time.